Hey guys, it's Tabitha here at Full Circle Farmstead. I have to cook a chicken today and it's frozen and I wanted to show you how you can take a whole chicken, see I have a whole chicken here, and turn it into a nice cooked chicken that has beautiful tender meat with an amazingly healthy uh, bone broth in your Instapot. And it takes like next to no time. It's been a lifesaver for me. So, you're going to put your chicken in your Instapot, you're going to turn on your water, fill it up, while you're filling it up, you want to add a few things. This is what I do. Whenever I'm chopping onions, carrots, celery, garlic, I save my scraps. Make sure you use organic produce because then you can use it in your stock. But I save all my scraps and then I just throw them in. It adds to the flavor. Um, it adds to the color. Onion skins actually turn it a nice amber color. And it gives you a nice flavor without having to doctor it on the other side. So I put those in there. I might throw a nub of garlic in as well. I like to add a few bay leaves to my stock, maybe two. If you have peppercorns, go ahead and sprinkle in a couple peppercorns. And then, you know, just a like half tablespoon or so of sea salt. Okay, you're gonna fill that up to about the maximum line, maybe just a hair under, so that it doesn't go over when it's cooking. And this is going to yield enough for at least one meal, if not more than one meal. It's about a four pound chicken, so that usually gives us about two meals worth of food. Plus, it gives us the broth. So if you're not using the broth, you can always freeze it. I like to reuse yogurt containers for my broth. So wash out your yogurt containers, fill it up. That gives you four cups of broth that you can now have in your freezer. For another meal so you don't have to worry about stocking up your shelves with all the non-perishables you can make your own so as soon as this gets filled up here we're going to pop it in the instapot um, while this is filling because it does take a little while i just want to let you know that we do raise our own chickens we grow this chicken here on our farm and they eat the pasture they eat the grass they eat the bugs and they eat a non-gmo feed and we do have them coming more of them will be here in the summer um, if it's something that you are interested in, in supporting local farms, supporting us and our farmstead, I have a link down below in the comment section. You can click on that and just fill out a form. Just let us know if you're interested, if it's something that you'd be interested in and what kinds of chicken you're looking for. That way we have an idea of how much to order ahead of time and to raise and grow here. Obviously, we don't want to have a surplus that we can't move and we want to be sustainable. So if you can kind of help us out that way, that'd be great. We definitely appreciate your support. If not, that's okay. We'll continue growing them for ourselves. Okay, so we got it filled up here. You'll see it, it looks beautiful. Um, now I'm gonna take it over here and put it in my Instapot. Again, we are not a professional videographer team, so please be gracious. So you're going to, let's see, grab your, I'm gonna do this, get this set up. And make sure you have your um, ring in here. and snug. Instapots guys are amazing. I didn't think I needed one and then I got one and now I have it. Don't know how I live without it. So you're going to pop that on. You're going to hit poultry and you see it's already set for two hours since it's frozen. Um, I'm going to keep it at two hours. I like my bone broth to get nice and cooked. It You want as much of the nutrients out of your chicken as possible. You could do less but I'm going to leave it there. So just push that and that and it's going to go and I'll be back when it's done to show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm back here. Uh, our stock is all done. Our chicken is nice and tender and falling apart. Um, so I'm just going to take out the chicken pieces and then I will let's see look how tender that is. And we're just going to strain off the broth. So if you have a metal colander or something with small holes, that's what you would want to sit over top of a bowl to just be able to strain out all the um, vegetable scraps that you had in there. Some of them will come out. I always like to get the big chicken chunks out first. And then, you can see how golden and pretty that coloring is. You'll have about four quarts, you want a nice big bowl. 
Okay, so you can see it strains it out. And then you're left with a nice, I'll show you here, golden chicken stock. So a little under three hours maybe from start to finish from frozen chicken to a nice healthy bone broth and you're good to go.